Thanks very much. Thanks, Kieran. Oh, hi, everyone. Um, look, uh, Hang on. sorry. Next plane, do I want that from one? That's sitting Cleveland plane, stopping all stations to Cleveland. Right. Rod Kemp's my name, Detective Inspector from South Brisbane Crime. Right. Uh, as part of the ongoing investigation, we've established that. Uh, uh, Benjamin Millwood actually uh, caught a train from South Brisbane Railway Station uh, last Thursday week ago, the 27th, the night in question of this investigation. He caught the train at South Brisbane at about 11.20, um, if the timings there are OK, which we've got no reason to dispute those timings. There is footage of uh, Benjamin catching the train at South Brisbane and he actually caught it to here. That was a Gold Coast uh, train and it terminated here at Bowen Hills Railway Station. There is uh, footage on CCTV of him uh, leaving the uh, station in that dire in, uh, direction, I believe, uh, away from the station here. So that's on CCTV. And that was at about 11, oh, around 11.30, 30, 11.35. So what we're particularly asking, and we've had investigators uh, today um, scanning the area for any CCTV foot footage, Obviously we're asking and appealing for any members of the public that have seen him around there, this area, on that night. Uh, so far we haven't located any further CCTV in the area, but we're appealing on businesses or private persons, if they have any, could they uh, come forward. And the, area, the time we're looking at is between 11.30 and midnight on uh, the Thursday night, the 27th. Did you have a lot of leads after releasing his picture? Uh, look, we've had a lot of leads, yes, and we're currently working through all of them. Um, some are of a higher quality or, or more interest to us than others, obviously. But With we... the footage, um, will police be releasing that of, uh, at Norwood at the train station? Yes, uh, police media do have that footage, and uh, you can see him quite clearly, as I said, uh, leaving via the steps. Did he ever talk to anyone or, you know... Did, didn't appear to, no. And he was on his own, it appears, at that time, yeah. So he's heading sort of towards the echo from here? Um, uh, Abbotsford Road, I believe. Either Abbotsford Road or Edmonston Street. We don't know which he go, way he goes from there. So. Is he still wearing the black pants and sink? Yes, he is, yes. And he's got the sneakers on. Uh, he was carrying um, what appeared to be uh, a mobile phone and a wallet. And uh, he may have also had like a potato chip packet or something, which may have been, uh, you know, because it was raining heavily that night and he had his belongings in that, cigarettes, whatever, in that. Uh, he didn't, it's a bit hard to say whether he's wet. He did appear to pick up a umbrella. Uh, it was a half broken umbrella here and, and walked off in the rain. It was, again, it was raining heavily. Now, it appears he has a mobile phone. Are you aware of the SIM card or anything like that? Are you, are you, are you know the number? Uh, we're following those inquiries at this point in time. Yeah. But you don't know if it's been active? Since? No. Well, I can't comment on that at this stage. Do you think that umbrella might be the same one that you guys found? No, it appears to have picked it up on here on the platform and it was half broken and uh, he's used that to walk away with. Did he have any known associates or contacts in this particular area? Uh, look, uh, we're, we're looking through that. We don't know at this point in time. By his actions here, he does look a little bit disorientated, like he wasn't real sure of the exits and his movements. So whether he's just taken flight or not, we don't know. Have you been in regular contact with his family and how are they reacting to it? Uh, we are in regular contact with his family. Oh, they're, they're very concerned, as you'd imagine. Um, he hasn't had much contact with his family in recent times, and I won't go into that. Well, the reasons for that, but there hasn't been a lot of contact there. But they're naturally concerned. A friend I spoke with said he um, has a, a, a child and a partner in Townsville. Is that something police are pursuing? Uh, we're, we're pursuing all those lines of inquiry, any associates, relationships he's had, um, all those sort of inquiries. Is that, here. Is that information true? Uh, I don't want to comment on that, sorry, at this stage. Do we know what he was doing between sort of 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock um, on the uh, During the afternoon? Yeah. Uh, look, we've, we've got sightings and we've got people he's contacted and uh, had dealings with during that day, but again, for operational reasons, I can't sort of go into that. but. He has contact, he was in the um, South Brisbane area, as I all, all earlier alluded to, during that day. So, Rod, just for a bit of a time frame, yesterday you said he was captured on CCTV in that area around the time after the attack. 
and then 11.20 catching a train. So how does that correlate? Like, uh, well, again, I can't go into the specifics of that, only to say we have seen him on CCTV. Um, Sophie was seen at 9... Hang on, we can't hear you. Um, Sophie was seen, as we know, around the 9 o'clock mark at the Kurilpa Bridge, or, or passing the Kurilpa Bridge, heading towards the go-between. Um, after that, um, this person of interest has been seen on CCTV, and I won't go into the specifics of that. And then he's later been seen, as I said, uh, catching the train at South Brisbane at 11.23. So he's on TV in the park and then at the train station? Uh, CCTV in the vicinity of the park. Not actually at the crime scene as such, no. but in that area, yeah. yes. Are there, are there any other persons of interest that are still involved? Oh, there's other persons of interest. There, there may be other persons involved in this. We can't eliminate that at this stage. Um, we have spoken to, like I said, a lot of witnesses, and they are, if you like, persons of interest as well. His face is everywhere. Is it just a matter of time until police catch up with him? Well, I hope so, yeah. It's, it's, it's very frustrating that um, really the last sighting of this person from our point of view, or well, that we can establish, is here at about 11.35 last Thursday week ago. So it's been a week that we've had any um, formal sort of identification or contact with this person. So it's, it's really uh, frustrating and concerning, I guess. The longer it goes, the more... Suspicions were sure. aroused with this person. So he could be anywhere too, given that time frame. Anywhere. Should the public be worried? Oh, of course, sure, sure. If he's irresponsible for this, like I said yesterday, if he's responsible for this, uh, there is concern for the public, yes. Is there concern for his mental health? Do you know of any sort of conditions yeah. that he Look, I can't comment on that this time. But, yeah. How about his physical welfare? I mean, he hasn't been seen for a week. Uh, is there any suggestion that... that Perhaps something's happened to him as well. Can't can't comment on that. Anything's possible. Yeah. Could you give us a bit more information about calls you've had overnight? Were there hundreds, thousands, or? Um, look, I wouldn't say hundreds, but there's numerous crime stoppers. Have been uh, a lot of crime stoppers information. A lot of friends and associates. Um, you know, so it's great. We hope that continues, and hopefully we'll get the right right inf how information. How big is the police operation? How many officers do you have working and trying to hunt down? Uh, today we get as many uh, staff as available resource-wise and um, as I said yesterday we've used up to sort of 60 police for search and investigations and things like that and that's ongoing. So is anyone from interstate involved yet or is it still just a Queensland based? No, we've sent a, what we call a, a be on lookout for and that's gone interstate Australia wide uh, appealing that if this person has fled interstate then we get some response that way. The chances are he'll see this interview, what's your message to him? Oh, my, my message is clearly um, come forward. Uh, we do need to speak to this person and uh, it's not going to go away. Is there any suggestion he was living at a homeless shelter near the river? Uh, look, I don't want to comment that at this stage. Are you able to give us any further indication of, as to his previous history at all involved with police? No, only that he is known to police. Are you aware if he had the means to travel to, to buy an air ticket to get out of town? I, I can't comment on that. We're doing all those investigations. That's a possibility. Right. Thanks everyone very much for your time. I think that's enough. Okay. Thanks very much everyone. Yes. No worries. Thank, Thanks you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, can we just get you to stay sure. there and, sure. yeah. and uh, mm -hmm. just uh, pretend to Yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> Are you going to be releasing any more photos of him? Uh, I think well, Kieran, if you see yeah. Kieran Police Media, have got the... Um, We've got the CCT of it. Yeah. You wouldn't know which one of these cameras would have picked him up, do you? Yeah.